If someone asked you, what does Jerry E. Abramson stand for? What would you tell them? Not what they might think of you or perceive you. I would hope that I would hope they'd say public service. I mean, my whole life mm -hmm. has been committed to public service. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of options in my life I could have done other than sure. than uh, uh, serve 21 years as mayor, three years as lieutenant governor, and two and a half years as assistant to the president of the United States. Uh, but that's what I wanted to do. And you know, we didn't make the kind of money we could have made. We don't sure. live in the kind of house we could have bought. But, but those weren't things that were important. Mm -hmm. What was important was uh, service. And uh, that's, that's what I, I did. That you get a lot of credit for is you have a real penchant for wanting to teach, you know, and educate. And where does that come from? Is that part you and know, parcel of being a politician? I don't know. Most don't seem to have that connection. You know, when I, before I ran for office, I taught uh, law school out at U of L at night while I was practicing law. Okay. I just have always enjoyed, again, engaging with young people. Mm -hmm. And teaching gave me that opportunity. And I've lectured now at universities all over the country. Uh, in a way to try to energize young people to think about public service, mm -hmm. to think about what Louis Brandeis meant when he said the most important uh, uh, public office in America is that of private citizen and what your responsibilities are. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows their, their, their uh, rights and privileges right. as Americans. Lots of folks forget their duties and responsibilities as Americans. Mm -hmm. And so I've been trying to carry that message. Mm -hmm.